Hi, I'm Captain John Kaiser, and in today's video we're going to learn how to rig spoons. Spoons behind a flasher, spoons fish by themselves. Spoons are one of the most easy and most effective ways to catch fish, and particularly salmon. Fishing here in Puget Sound and out on the ocean. They'll work just about everywhere. Let's go ahead, get some rigged up, and then we'll take them out. We'll show you how they look in the water. Okay, a couple of the other spoons we're going to use here that work real well. is uh, it's just, It mainly depends on the size of the bait. This is a sonic edge spoon. On this spoon here, it's why you got a you got a heavy ring down here. You got a welded ring attached to the bottom of it with a little flasher, and then this part attaches to your main line. You got your hook here. A couple of things that we do. First, of course, we're going to debarb this before we attach it. Get the barb off. Okay. Then we got our spoon. We'll go ahead and put smelly jelly on it. I'm going to tie it up with 20 pound line because it has its own action in the water. So either one of these run 20 pound line about 37 to 42 inches in that range will give it plenty of action it'll swim fine behind a flasher you want to fish it by yourself without a flasher just go ahead and tie it up and then run it back to a ball bearing swivel and then attach that into your main line these work quite well for when the baits just a little bit bigger size the kingfisher spoon in the UV colors again you're going to do the same thing it's got a little bit smaller hook in it uh, works good when you have small bait very very effective spoon different colors green this red has worked quite well lately again we're gonna pinch the barbs down on these before we use them we got a good one here by law we have to have we can't have barbed hooks up here when we're fishing in the salt water so we got two good spoons you got again you know it's good to mix and match different colors it's a, it depends on the size of the bait. Between this one, fishing your coho killer, or fishing your sonic edge, all these are good spoons to use out here salmon fishing. Again, since this has its own action in the water, in other words, if I was to pull this by itself behind the boat, it's going to wiggle by itself. These are don't need a heavy leader material, so we're just going to get by with 20 pound fluorocarbon there. That's fine. And of course, a good coating of smelly jelly for a cover scent. They fish well. Uh, spoons are probably the easiest lure there is to fish without out uh, all you have to do is tie it on go ahead and sharpen your hook a little bit take your file give your hook a couple of shots here make sure it's sharp put it in the water you're gonna catch fish I mean they're, they're, it's that simple they fish very easily so if you have these in, in various colors and in different sizes you can pretty much go anywhere and catch salmon let's go ahead and uh, take a look at both these spoons in the water we'll go ahead and start with the sonic edge and then we'll take a look at the kingfisher and you can see what they're supposed to look like behind the flasher when they're fished correctly Okay, as you can see, regardless of which spoon is I'm putting in the water, each one has a little bit of its different action. Sonic Edge has a little bit more side-to-side -side action. Kingfisher Spoon has its own action, but the main thing is that they're moving back and forth in the water. You know, you can adjust your leader length, you know, anything. I usually like to start out anywhere about 40 inches, a 25-pound leader when I'm rigging spoons, I like fluorocarbon. Go ahead and put it in the water and make sure that those spoons are moving back and forth and got a nice action to them like these do. Well, I hope you found that video on rigging spoons useful. As, as I said before and, and I've elaborated on through this whole video series, spoons are probably the easiest thing there is to fish. If you can tie them on, get a good knot on them, get the right leader length, put some smelly jelly on them or some kind of scent, and get them in the water with a sharp hook, you're going to catch fish. I mean, they are easy to fish and they produce a lot of fish. I'm John Kaiser and I'll look forward to fishing with you out there in the water.